Alright ladies and gentlemen, I'm here on the show I'm here to talk about game two of, of, of the double hater between the uh, Guardians and the Diamondbacks. I recap game one earlier today. And Cleveland Guardians, man, they get swept uh, at home by the uh, Arizona Diamondbacks. And the Arizona Diamondbacks have heated up, man. They had a really slow start of the season. They've started to get healthy. You know, they've now got Eduardo Rodriguez back. Their bullpen's really performed well recently. They're hitting for power. They're, they're just scoring runs in a bunch of different ways. Uh, you know, it really started with Josh uh, Josh Bale, you know, hitting that two-run home run. I know he hit a solo home run to make it one nothing, And then um, De Del Castillo making his uh, MLB, MLB debut. They called him up because uh, Gabriel Moreno suffered that um, abductor strain or something like that. But they got a catcher duo for the future, man. De Del Castillo's amazing. So they immediately went up 2 nothing with that solo home run and the RBI double. Um, but then Cleveland responded in the uh, second inning uh, with a run, so they cut the lead down to 2-1. to one. But then Arizona brought it right back up with a two-run home run from Josh Bale. He hit two home runs in this game. If Christian Walker is out for a significant amount of time, you know, with a hamstring, I think it's what it is, then um, Josh Bale's going to be a good pickup for them. He hit two home runs in this game, had three of the five RBIs for him. So, great game from Josh Bale. Uh, Grichik had an RBI. He had a solo home run. So, Del Castillo, Grichik, and Bale were really the offense today. Or, or for this second game, excuse me, for this second game, they were the offense. But, I just can't believe it, man. The D-backs, they just keep winning. The Guardians are just weird. Um, the closest they got in this game was 4-3. Uh, to three, Where the... Jose uh, Ramirez reaches, hit, reached the 30 home run mark again. He hit a solo home run. That was the closest they got. Uh, the D-backs got one more run after that. They they just need to win a game. Like they, after winning five straight, the Guardians have uh, dropped five straight. Couldn't get swept here. Uh, the offense really didn't do much besides the two solo home runs from Jose Ramirez and David Fry, and uh, Martinez drove in a run, but other than that, the offense really wasn't that good for the Guardians, I mean, they had a chance in the ninth inning there, loved with the bases, Justin Martinez really wasn't looking looking comfortable out there, and then um, Lane Thomas strikes out three pitches, he's really been striking out a lot since joining the Guardians, so maybe that's not as good, maybe it won't be a, as good as a move as we thought, because he's been striking out quite a lot. So, five consecutive losses. Uh, Nick Sandlin immediately gave up that run back when the Guardians cut it to one. Feels like he's been getting up uh, quite a few runs since, uh, uh, giving up quite a few runs lately. I don't know, that's like three out of the last five games that the Guardians got within a run trying to come back, and some of them besides Cade Smith come in. I, I, you'd rather have Cade Smith in that spot than Nick Sandlin. You might need to send him down or something. But the Guardians may have picked the worst possible t t possible time to slump. But, you know, they can turn it around because they play the Twins Friday afternoon, I think. Because I might be recapping that series. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Twins Guardians, they have a double hater on Friday. So, that's a, bit, that's, a bit, that's a good chance for them. But the season and division race are far from over. So, they need to have a big weekend against the Minnesota Twins. So, they just, the Dimebacks, like, Dimebacks are going to make the playoffs, man. And everyone's focused on the Padres in, the, in, my, in this division, but the D-backs are just as hot, swept the Guardians, and now 8-2 in their last 10. Like, just, just absolutely insane. They improved to 63-52. and 52. They scored, they had 8 hits for 5 runs in an air. The Cleveland drops to 67-47. 7 seven hits for 3 runs in an air. Arizona scored two in the second, two in the third, one in the seventh. Cleveland scored one in the second, one in the fourth, and one in the sixth. Yeah, just more for the Guardians. Um, the Guardians had not been swept this season before the Diamondbacks arrived in Cleveland. That's a 5-1 road trip with the Phillies coming to town. I'd play the Diamondbacks next. That's going to be a great, 
uh, series right there, an NLCS uh, rematch. This past home saying the Philly, the Guardians bullpen, excuse me, allowed 19 earned runs across 30.1 innings during this past home saying their bullpen has not been great. And Carlos Carrasco, he wasn't really good either. They picked the worst time to slump, but Lane Thomas struck up the bases lower there. He's showing us exactly who he's been his whole career. A guy who can't hit right-handed pitching. Not sure why the Guardians thought he'd be a he'd be different from his whole career. You could probably live with one of Thomas and Fry against right-handed pitching. Definitely not both. Oh, he's good against left-handed pitching. Uh, Carlos Crasco today, 4.1 innings pitch, 5 hits, 4 and runs, 2 walks, 5 strikeouts. He was okay. I guess for his standards, it's an okay start. Tim Heron, 1.1 innings pitch, no hits, no runs, no walks, struck out 1. Nick Salem, 0.2 innings pitch, 1 hit, 1 run, 1 walk, struck out 1. Kate Smith, 0.2 innings pitch, no hits, no runs, 1 walk, struck out 1. Hunter Gaddis, 1 inning, 1 hit, no runs, no walks, no strikeouts. And Scott Barlow, one inning, one hit, no runs, one, no walks, and two strikes. It's just the Guardians' bullpen just was not good this whole, the, just this homestand. And especially today, they just, their bullpen wasn't good. Uh, Eduardo Rodriguez made his season debut. I thought it was, an, it was okay for his debut, though. 5.2 in the pitch, four hits, three hundred runs, one, two walks, one strikeout. He wasn't great, but I mean, it's his first start coming off the, uh, after being out for four months, made his season debut. So I thought he had an okay start. That was a solid outing. Their bullpen was great after that. One, two. About three, what was it? Three scoreless innings after that. Three or four scoreless innings. Kevin Ginkle, 1.1 innings pitch. One hit, no earned runs, no watch, struck out one. Ryan Thompson, one hit. Uh, no earned runs. No walks, didn't strike out anybody. Joe Mantiply come on for the last out. Point one innings pitch, no hits, no runs, no walks, and struck out one. He got the final out of each uh, eighth inning today. So he he was good. Uh, he had a really good uh, double header, you know, coming up clutching those big spots. And Justin Martinez, one inning, one hit, no one runs, one walk, two strike. He kind of got nervous there. I think he gave him a hit. You know, the, I think it was a hit. Oh, a hit. I think it was a hit by pitch. A walk, and the bases are loaded, but he got two strikeouts in the end as well. So he struck out two. So really good work from the D-backs bullpen today. Some really good work. And I thought their starters were good as well. So uh, for the offense, Corbin Carroll, one for four and a walk. Marte over two, two walks. Peterson over four. Bell, two for four, three RBIs. McCarthy and Suarez were each one for four. Grichick, two for four, an RBI. Del Castillo, one for three, a walk, an RBI. And Newman, oh, four, three. For the Guardians, Tyler Freeman, 0 for 3. Start at the, <laughs> I don't know why he's at the top of the lineup. Schneeman, pinch hit, was 0 for 1 in a walk. Thomas, 2 for 5. Ramirez, 1 for 4 in a RBI. Fry, 1 for 3 in RBI. Each had some homers. Uh, Josh Naylor, 0 for 3. And a walk. Stephen Plum, pinch hit, was 0 for 1. Jakonski, how do you say his name? Noel, 2 for 4. Martinez, 0 for 2 in walking in RBI. Jimenez, 0 for 4 in hedges where he... 0 for 2, Bo Naylor was 1 for 2. So yeah, um, Guardian dropped 67 47 here. They lost all three games um, to the D-backs. The results you don't, you don't like, obviously. You're not happy with the five-game losing streak, but they've tried to find some of these games, but it's just the bullpen. Like, I mean, yeah, it's really going to say for this video. So until next time, have a lot. Peace, and I'll see you guys for the Braves Brewers recapping and the Dodgers game later on. Peace.